Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. Greetings from extremely muggy Florida. I have one day off this month, and you'll never guess where I spent it. Legoland. This place is great, but I wouldn't necessarily characterize it as relaxing. Hank, I'm on I-4 in Orlando, and I'm remembering that like 12 years ago, you had a viral hit website called IHateI4.com, and it just, it made me smile. Anyway, it's gonna take me a while to get to the next place, but I'm gonna use movie magic to get you there quicker. And we've arrived, just like that. It took 45 minutes. I have five minutes until my Runner's World photo shoot. That's right, I'm doing a photo shoot for the magazine Runner's World. <laughs> I am now literally a fitness model. I mean, so majestic. Is that a middle-aged person or a gazelle? Okay, Hank, I'm now at your old high school and I, I gotta go sign some books. Brief pause for book signing. All right, so first off, quick thank you to the Winter Park High School students who made this paper town. They also got us t-shirts and special green green room chairs and a chair for our secret brother, Dave. <laughs> but most importantly, they got Hank's high school yearbook. Look at tiny baby Hank. Look at Hank's high school yearbook photo. Oh my God. Brian Beck and Hank Green enjoy some quality time surfing the quote net. They believe that internet privileges should be given to all seniors. Hank, I agree. Hello and greetings from the future because the rest of my Orlando footage got corrupted. We are now in Nashville. So Hank, this has been an awesome week. We've performed in front of more than 10,000 people, including our spouses and children and parents and elementary school teachers. Turtles All the Way Down has reached number one on Amazon's bestseller list. It's also gotten extremely generous reviews, including maybe the two best reviews any of my books have ever received. I'll link to those in the doobly-doo below. And also, reading people's incredibly thoughtful responses to the book has brought me to tears again and again this week. But it's also been a really difficult week. Like, my mental health, to speak frankly, is not where I would like it to be, partly because I am so far outside my usual routine. And while I do really love to tour and talk with people about the book, it's also a bit overwhelming. So Hank, I hope you'll forgive this moment of sincerity, but watching you perform at your old high school last night, I kept thinking about how incredibly kind you've been to me the last few weeks. Like you're taking a month away from your family and your many jobs to be on tour with me. You turned your frickin' Twitter profile into actual turtles all the way down, and you've just been there for me so consistently in a way that frankly goes back to when you were a student at that high school. I am really lucky and really grateful. Thank you. Yeah, that was way too much. You gotta cut the sentimentality somehow. You gotta say something mean about him now. I'm not very good at cutting insults, but I know someone who is. Hey, I'll say something silly about Uncle Hank. <laughs> That's, yeah, that, that works. <laughs> Thanks. I love you. Bye. Hank, you have a stupid butt. That is a direct quote from my four-year-old daughter. It's also kind of true with the ulcerative colitis and everything. I'll see you on Friday. Actually, I'll see you like five minutes from now.